Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And today we're going to uh, do a video in response to this scheduled live by Deacon Discord. Okay, uh, the title of the video, GMS Split, If Ancient Sakari Followed Christ. All right, and uh, that's what we'll address here. As you can see, there's a picture of me, all right, uh, and a picture of Apostle Tahar, because what they're doing is going through videos, and they're not dealing with, you know, the uh, particulars of the videos, but they're using wordings all right or things said in one video and then they'll go to another place where something was said in another video and pit the wording against each other to say see they disagree for the purpose of discord which the scriptures is against sowing discord you know and these guys are on the video screaming and growling and you know saying we're gonna <laughs> you know uh, the lord gonna deal with us you know, and this is all supposedly over fringes, but it's something deeper, all right? And we believe through the Holy Spirit is that they don't want Yahweh Shai to rule over them. You know, they don't acknowledge him as their high priest, okay? Um, and they don't acknowledge that he alone, all right, and that sacrifice that he made can forgive sins. They're of the opinion that, you know, um, you can be saved by the works of the law, and they are of the opinion that they're perfect in the law and they don't break any laws. OK. And we do here at Great Millstone teach you to keep the laws. All right. Um, and you all know that um, you listen to us. And this is all supposedly because we don't wear our fringes to work or to Walmart or to the mall. So apparently the Lord is going to deal with us and we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out, but we're going to deal with this topic if did the ancient Sakari follow the will of Hamashiach? All right. And um seen a video where uh, Chief Priest Alazar said <laughs> we probably took the jump shot, you know, behind closed doors. Speaking of the jab. Well, there's a man by the name of Captain Tazariak. He took it. All right. And openly promoted Israel to take it. And he's openly saying the MOTB has nothing to do with the microchip. Meaning when that comes, most likely they're going to tell their congregation to take that. So as you can see, this really has nothing to do with the fringes. Because if they were really angry and growling, they'd have that same energy towards them. All right. This is competition. And ultimately, this is an, uh, them being back in their lot. As, as the scriptures say, that which is then is now. Remember, it was the chief priests, the Pharisees, all right, the wicked ones, and the Sadducees and the rest of them who used the law, okay, or tried to use the law or use the law to have the Messiah crucified, okay? The chief priests were a part of that, okay? The chief priests were the ones who said, free Barabbas and crucify Yahweh Shai. It was the chief priests who said that. All right. So keep that in mind. But we'll get into that in another video. All right. But this is what we're going to deal with. Did the ancient Sakari follow the will of Yahweh Shai? And this is going to be simple. All right. First off. We want to deal with the fact that there were zealots. OK. Who followed Yahweh Shai. OK. Now, when they followed Yahweh Shai. Were they able to follow Yahweh Shai and still take on the same ideologies as the Zillots? Because the Sakari were a sect of Zillots. Which, who were the Zillots? Real quick, let's get a quick... I have a few things uh, pulled up, all right? Which, we go into this. These are the uh, political parties at the time of Yahweh Shai. Now, remember, before Yahweh Shai came on the scene, all right, these brothers, all right, uh... You know, there's, there's a lot of history that goes into, you know, you know, go back to the Hasmonean dynasty and everything that goes back to these, you know, particular parties fighting to keep the relevance of our people. All right. Um, the temple and all of that. 
you know, but when Yahweh Shai came, a lot of these people rebelled. And when you look at the Pharisees, the Sakari had a lot of the same mentality as the Pharisees. Now, the Pharisees were strict in observance of the law. They were very uh, focused on outward appearance, okay, and stuff like that. But we're going to go down to the uh, Zealots, okay? The Zealots, okay, they advocated violence against Rome, okay? Did Yahawashai advocate violence against Rome? Okay. In particular, they 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 uh, rebelled against the taxes. We're going to get into that. Did Yahawashai, okay, did he advocate rebelling against taxes? These are just two small indicators that they did not follow the will of Yahawashai. We're going to get into what they did. Okay. And we're not going to go too deep into the history. Maybe in another video, we'll go super deep into it. All right, but um, as you can see here, the Zealots were not interested in Yahawashai's teaching of peace and love for one's enemies, which when you read that, all right, love your enemy, that's actually speaking of your Hebrew Israelite brother because sometimes you have, you know, alts with particular uh, uh, brothers, but what Yahawashai did teach is that ultimately you are to turn the other cheek, meaning Ultimately, you can't exude judgment, okay, and take your own vengeance against these particular rulerships, in particular Rome, who was in rulership of that time. Okay, now the Zealots' mindset, okay, of taking down Rome goes against the whole spirit of the Most High, okay, and it damn sure goes against the spirit of his son, Yahawashai. Okay, so I want to make this point that Yes, the Zealots, the Sakari, they knew of Yahawashai, all right? Some of them even acknowledged him. But did they, all right, acknowledge his position as the chief high priest over the nation of Israel, as that one who could forgive sins, okay? Yahawashai actually cursed out men with their mindset, Okay? So that's what we're going to get into. Actually, real quick, to make note of this, let's see here. One of Yahawashai's followers, okay, was known as Simon the Zealot, okay, Zelotes. Now, when you look up this word Zelotes, all right, because just like us, you know, before we woke up to this truth, we had particular mindsets, all right? You may have had a brother who was a so-called black revolutionary and, you know, wanted to march around with guns and all of this and that, you know. But when he came into the understanding of Yahweh Shai, he had to put that mindset off and follow Yahweh Shai. So when you look up this term, Zelotes, okay, all right, you see one burning with zeal, a zealot, use of God as jealous against any rival, sternly vindicated his control, okay? And that's how they looked at the Romans, the zealots. They were like, you have no business ruling over us. We're our own sovereign governing state. You know, going back to Solomon, you know, they used particular um, men of old, and how they took up the sword and say, see, you know, and they looked at Yahawashai as weak. And they wanted to use Yahawashai. When you go into history, a lot of them wanted to use Yahawashai, as we'll get into Judas, as their leader because they knew of his power. But they wanted him to use that power to take down Rome, which is against the will of the Lord. Most eagerly desirous of a thing to acquire now, when you go here, okay, it says there existed among the Jews a class of men called the Zealots, all right, who rigorously adhered to the Mosaic law, all right, and endeavored even by a resort to violence after the example of Phineas. All right. When you go back to numbers, so they'll use particular things of old, you know, Joshua, you know. But was that the will of Yahweh Shai at that time? And the simple answer is no. 
So as we get into this lesson, the answer is no. The Sakari did not follow the will of Yahawashai. Okay? And we're going to show you exactly why we say that. Now, were there members of the Sakari, okay, or members of the Zillot movement who left those sects to follow Yahawashai? Absolutely. All right? But did they continue in that? Now, did they struggle with it at times? We'll show you, yes. <laughs> All right? We'll show you, yes. But was it the will of Yahawashai? No. It says, um, at the time of Phineas, to prevent religion from being violated by others. But in the latter days of the Jewish commonwealth, they used their holy zeal as a pretext for the basest crimes. Okay? And we're going to get into some of those crimes, which those crimes are anti-Messiah. All right? <laughs> at the end of the day, they weren't the will of Yahawashai. And we'll get into the whole, you know, uh, sell your cloak and your purse and go get a sword. We'll get into all of that because that's what they jumped to to say, see, Yahawashai was with the Sakari in their uh, 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 mindset. No, he wasn't. Now, let's see here. So, yeah, I wanted to bring that out. Now, this is uh, John, the fifth chapter in the 30th verse. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will. And this goes into the scripture where it says their God is their belly. That was the ancient Zealots, okay, and the Sakari who did their own thing. They weren't doing the will of Yahweh. See, there's one thing in saying, okay, yeah, I know. That's Yahawashi. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, 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 do you acknowledge his position, and do you agree? Case in point, the whole Acts fifteen argument. All right, they'll do these videos and try to say, well, he said this, he said, okay. Do you agree with the judgment that was made by Peter, okay, James, and the circumcision at that time concerning the Gentiles? Do you agree with that judgment that they put out? If so, why are you arguing with us over fringes? It's deeper than that, man. And we understand. Oh, you mad. You growling. Okay, we're going to see. All we're going to do is just go into the scriptures. All right? Because that's what it's all about with us. All right? And we've proved our position. So the little, you know, the pitting one against another and this and that. OK, you know, the, the, the breakdown, you know, how S Songs of Solomon is speaking of swallowing semen, deacon. I want to hear that breakdown. Do that for Israel. OK. And we have your members on camera saying Paul is not the word of God. But see, you know, you look bad. So now you're trying to put all of this stuff out there to make it a carnal tit for tat. But the bottom line is your doctrine is off. Your spirit is off. In the Sakari were not followers of the will of Yahawashai, point blank period. And we're going to prove it. OK. It says in my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the father which had sent me. Now, was it the will of the father that Rome fell at that time? Let's get Daniel the seventh chapter. Let's get Daniel the seventh chapter. This is Daniel the seventh chapter and the seventh verse. And after this, I saw in the night visions and behold a fourth beast. Now, who's that fourth beast? Okay. The Roman Empire. Dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And he had great iron teeth and it devoured and break in pieces Okay, and stamped the residue of the feet with it, meaning the Romans ruled. Where in Daniel, the seventh chapter, does it speak of this empire being taken down by Jake using the sword? I wait. Now, let's go here. Let's get some more history. Okay. Let's see here. I'll just get to the point. 
and Masada and all of that. That Masada and what happened in 70 AD was a result of a rebellion, okay, of a rebellion of the Zealots, okay? Now, the mindset is understandable that you don't want a heathen to rule over you, you're sovereign. However, it's not in line with prophecy. Zealots were also known for raiding, all right, I don't like this word Jewish, but the Jews' habitations and killing Jews, they considered apostate. They, they were putting uh, uh, sellouts to death. Was that the will of Yahawashai? Hmm? Did Yahawashai tell his followers, those sellouts that are in league with Rome, go put them to death? No. That wasn't his will. They also bore the, bore the name Sakari from their custom of carrying Roman daggers. Roman daggers. Remember, Esau was blessed with the sword. Okay? Now, they have said that we teach having a gun is wicked. Having a gun at camp is wicked. Okay? Now, you are a grown man. If you want to have... All right, a, a, a registered gun for yourself, that is your business. As a man, I can't tell you you can't have a weapon. It's your right even within the so-called United States Constitution, right? However, what does it have to do with our doctrine and what does it have to do with Yahawashai's doctrine? Where was it ever used or preached that that would be the way that we should operate and the vibe we should push? Remember, the scripture says, do nothing that the ministry can be blamed by. Okay, now these are masters at the law that have a problem with the fact that we have a law on rape. But they can carry around guns and this and that because ultimately they're back in their lot. Which where did Yahawashai say this is the end all be all of our doctrine? Go out there with, 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 with guns and swords. And we're going to deal with the uh, uh, sell your purse. We're going to deal with that. All right. It says customs of carrying Roman daggers. That wasn't an Israelite thing. The gun isn't an Israelite thing. That is Esau's blessing. That is what he made up. But if you want to have one, have it. That's your business. I can't tell another grown man you're wicked if you have a, a, a registered gun now why do i say registered because you get a hot gun that's not registered okay who knows how many bodies is on that gun and i know someone who went through this and when you if you get caught with that okay then what the bodies on that uh uh, uh now the dude i know eventually got off but those uh bodies on that gun or whatever happened with that gun because they have a very, very scientific way of tracking the bullets and the, the angle of the bullet and all of that can be tied to you. Now, me, myself, I don't deal with guns. I never owned a gun. That's just not who I am. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know. But if a brother wants that, a registered one, that's, that's your business. All right? And we've been said that. So there's a lot of false, uh, 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 you know, witness that's being born on us. But anyway, they also bore the name Sakari from their custom of carrying Roman daggers hidden in their cloaks. Zealots would use such weapons to stab anyone found committing a sacrilege act or anything provoking anti-Jew feeling. And this is why they're growling about those fringes. They want to put us to death. They, they are of the opinion that we are worthy of death because we don't go to Walmart with fringes on. All right? And they, they, they want to go tit for tat. Well, shit, can I shave my beard? Can I do this? Can I do that, that? That's why Paul said avoid questions, all right, of, of endless genealogies because you had men and strivings about the law because you had men amongst the churches who were using their priest card to say, I belong to this family line of priests. I, I, I deserve this rank. You under me. And then they would have you know, these strivings about the law, which is unprofitable. Okay? Now, 
as Apostle Tahar likes to bring out, when you get Acts 21, okay, when you look this up, Acts the 21st chapter, in the 38th verse, it says, are, they would think, they were speaking of Paul thinking he was this guy. It says, are not thou that Egyptian? Which, when you go into the Josephus, this was an Israelite who was of Egyptian ideologies. He was, a, he was in a Gentile state of mind, right? Now, we use this to say Apostle uh, 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 Paul was a dark-skinned man, which that does prove he was a dark-skinned man because we know the Egyptians were dark. But this is actually speaking of a particular man at that time, like Grandmaster Jay, he's into Egyptian ideology, but he wants to take up the sword. He did that back then. Okay, you can find that in Josephus. All right, the brothers did videos on that. It says, Are not thou that Egyptian which before these days madest an uproar? Okay, and let us out into the wilderness 4,000 men that were murderers. Now, when you look up that word murderers, Okay, was this the spirit and will of Yahweh Shai? No. Not saying he was of the Sakari, but that word murderer is Sakario, Sakari. Okay? An assassin, one who carries a dagger or short sword under his clothing, which they do that now. Okay? And the and what we're telling you, when I say that the Sakari will not follow us of Yahweh Shai. That wasn't Yahweh Shai's will, and you cannot sit here and tell me it was. Okay? One who carries a dagger or short sword under his clothing, that he may kill secretly and treacherously anyone he wishes. A cutthroat. Now, Chief Priest, your boy, all okay, right, Angry Andy, okay, said when he read the story of the Sakari, he said, We them niggas. That's us. So we're going to go into the Sakari. That's it. And you be the judge. W were they followers of the will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? Or was their God their own belly? Let's go back. The Zealots played a pivotal part of the first Jewish Roman war, also known as the Great Revolt. Where in the scriptures were we ever told to revolt? So here it is. These men are going crazy about the law and Christ and the, the, the red letter is the law. But the, the whole movement is based upon a movement that revolted against the will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Can somebody say amen? <laughs> in Hassad, what's wrong with you? Hassad, two to three years ago, you came up to me, man. I watch all y'all. Y'all, when y'all came up to the camp, you know, I watch all y'all videos, man. You, Gabar, Apostle Tahar. Where well, you was, you just say Tahar. You, man. There was a video you did the other day, man. Oh my God! Tell me I'm lying. Now you sit on the video, man. Ever since I came into the truth, man, the, 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 these dudes, they they weak. They're not doing any work. They're not edifying. Da, da, da. Come on, shut your ass up, boy. Stop playing. But that's the that's the Sakari. They will say one thing here, and then the next day you they'll they'll they'll, they'll have a whole another thought process, and that's from following after these weirdos, man. The two, the top two. All right, I'm going to do you like you did us. <laughs> not to not to whore. He cool. All right? But, but, <laughs> but the top two, let me stop playing. The top two, Deacon Haka and Alazar Bunloya are horrible leaders. And that's what happened with the ancient Sakari. Horrible leadership led to their demise. But really what led to their demise is the fact that they tried to revolt anyway because that's not the will of the father. Now, you can sit there and scream and say this, and I ain't got all my fringes everywhere, and I'm teaching against the law. I hate Yahweh Shah. But is this true or not? The great revolt, was it in the spirit? Was it what the Lord wanted? No. It started in 66 AD. They succeeded in taking over Jerusalem, 
and holding it until 70 AD. And it, and it was doing a whole hell of a lot of wickedness, man. Forcing Jake to fight with them. If you wouldn't, they put you to death. When Roman General Titus retook the city and destroyed it in Herod's temple, okay? Then this goes to the last stand at Masada. Okay. In 70 AD, Jerusalem was destroyed and the temple burned. Zillot, yada, yada, yada. Now there's a point here where it talked about the tax. Okay. Okay. Falsest Bible Dictionary confirms there is a link between Judas the Galilean and the radical zealots of Judaism. This well-known dictionary states led, led the rebellion in the days of taxing. I don't think this is the one I wanted, but whatever. Now, yada, yada, yada. Tax collector, I don't want to go into that. Let's see here. So let's go here real quick. Let's get this scripture. We'll go back to some history. All right. So we got that. This is Matthew, the 15th chapter in the eighth verse. This people draw it nigh unto me with their mouth. All praise to you. How about Shemiah Shai? Y'all hate the cross. Y'all spit on the cross. What well, can the cross alone save? Hmm? Do you acknowledge Yahweh Shai as your high priest? Is he over you? Do you worship him? Okay, when he, when he was as a man, you didn't, you didn't worship him when he was as a man. Do you worship him now that he's on the right-hand side of the Father? If he came before you, would you bow? All right? That's Melchizedek, man. Before Levi even existed, Abraham, uncircumcised, which you condemn him for that, right? You got to be perfect in the law. You know what? I'm going to do a lesson. The whole Bible, the most high with the rest, with the, 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 the uh, setting our nation up. He always put his authority over the technicalities of the law. Case in point, uh, 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 Esau came out first. Technically, he should have got the uh, inheritance, right? That ain't how the Lord wanted it in the spirit. Abraham was uncircumcised. Okay, David committed adultery. Solomon came from that adulterous union. David murdered a man. So the Lord's authority has always been over the law. And that's the Gentiles. Which you were one, but you're back in this lot as if you're just this great nigga. So this people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor at me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching the doctrines, all right, for doctrines, the commandments of men. Okay, so, yeah, they, they talk about Yahawashai. But their heart, their mind, their vibration is not in line with Yahweh Shai. And the main indicator is the very name of your group. Let's go here. Okay, I think this is the one I wanted. The Roman occupation of Judea, which Judea, all right, was a vassal to Rome. Okay, which that was prophecy. We just read the fourth beast was supposed to rule. And we were going to be under him. Right now we're under Babylon the Great. All of these things must happen because it's the will of the father. Are we to teach a doctrine to go fight against that authority? Because let's say you are the ancient Sakaar and you really believe that. Why? What are you doing? Why aren't you putting the deaf people who are selling out? You got Jake openly taking the jab and going before Israel on Sinai the TV saying, do it. The ancient zealots would have made a move. 
Now, of course, <laughs> right? Of course, that wouldn't be wise, but it'd go all the way out since you these guys. But the, all of this energy towards us, this dude is openly, Tazaria, openly saying, take the jab. Not a peep out of you guys. Okay? Why? Because they, they ain't the true followers of Yahweh Shai. You have a problem with Yahweh Shai and his true followers. So the Roman occupation of Judea started with the resistance movement. Okay? In 6 AD, the Roman Emperor Augustus and next what was then a client kingdom of Judea into the Roman Empire. The same year, Judas of Galilee founded a resistance group and they lost. Okay? <laughs> the scriptures talk about that. All right. Judas of Galilee founded a resistance group to fight against the Romans. Their name was the Zealots. OK. Their first act of rebellion. Was resistance to the Roman tax census. OK, so we're going to use this right here. Let's see Yahawashai's mindset on taxes. Give me one second here. Now, tribute to Caesar. We're going to start at Matthew 22 and 15. So it says, then went the Pharisees. Now, who are the Pharisees? We read it here. The Pharisees believed in strict observance of the law. All right. They were very, very high-minded in those outward customs if you didn't have this or that you weren't all right if you weren't circumcised you couldn't get into the kingdom most high ain't dealing with you ain't did this and that so we see that same mindset going on now right so they they would always walk up to your okay with these particular questions to try to trap him up they would even try to make your use the law to stone people which would have got him put in jail under the Roman jurisdiction. They were a bunch of demons. Using it, trying to use his words against them. Don't we see that same energy today? This is why I'm not mad. You can growl and scream and try to do, 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 kick and scratch and do all you want. You're wrong in the spirit. Okay? It says, then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And this is all they're doing. Anyway, and the Pharisees and the Sakari, I was reading it somewhere. They had kind of like the same mindset. All right. In particular things, it says, and when they sent out unto him, their disciples. With the Herodians saying, master, see, they call him master. See, we believe in you. Master. Yeah, I was shy. See that? We know that thou art true <laughs> and teaches the way of God and truth, being demons. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? See that? They're trying to trap him in his words. Okay? Is it lawful? It's, it's all surrounding the law. Now, these are the same people who used the law to have Yahweh Shai crucified. Even Pilate was like, I don't see any, anything wrong. Because all the Romans were really worried about is if you're trying to fight against them, if you're trying to raise up insurrection against them. Okay, and that's what Judas did. He tried to set up a, a, a play to get Yahweh Shai to use his power to eventually take down Rome, all right? And that wasn't the will of the Father, and we're going to get into that. So it says, we know that thou art true, master, lion. Same energy they come in today. We love you, Apostle Tahar. Then he's a pedophile. Then he's a motherfucker. Then he's going to be judged Then because he ain't teaching us to wear fringes, okay, all over the, 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 the earth, get on the airplane with the, the fringes everywhere, which if that's what you want to do, cool. But if you agree with the council in Acts 15, you wouldn't be bothering us about this matter. Okay? We know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. 
neither carest thou for any man, for for thou regardest not the person of men. So they're just kissing his ass, trying to make him. And he knew their thoughts. All right. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Yahweh Shai perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? Show me the tribute money. All right? And they brought unto him a penny. Just like today, if you get a penny or a quarter or a dollar, whose face is on that dollar? The same Romans that was ruling back then, they're back here today. All right? And, 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 and this fourth, the extension of that fourth beast is ruling now. Show me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny. And he said unto them, Who's, Whose is, is this image and subscription? It's a goddamn Edomite. They say unto him, Caesar's. Okay? <laughs> then said he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things which are God's. When they heard these things, they marveled and left him and went their way. He cut them. Now, let's go back here. Okay. Their first act of rebellion, the Zealots, which the Sakari were just the sect of the Zealots. Okay. And not every Zealot, all right, tried to actually fight. Some were just maybe have been zealous about this or zealous about that. Because to have a zeal isn't bad. But to use your zeal and your emotions to make decisions that are not in the spirit is bad. Okay? So their first act of rebellion was resistance against the Roman tax. Also, they burned the houses and stole the cattle of those Jews who complied with Roman orders. The Sakari, this their action instigated the great jewish revolt 67 to 73 a.d which they they won a few skirmishes then they lost the sakari wanted to watch the world burn and look at the sakari and this hakai right here if he let his hair grow out that's him with that knife kneeling down alazar and the other two right that was <laughs> right this this is them In, as a splendor group of zealots emerged in Jerusalem, the Sakari. Their name means dagger men, since they use small daggers to kill their victims. Now, o overall, before if we if we if all we have to do is just stop here. Was this the will of Yahawashai? Was this the will of Yahawashai? Was Yahawashai down with this? No. As a matter of fact, Paul, another one who you have a problem with when it comes to authority. Let's see here. In Romans 13, which you all break this down saying it's in the kingdom that this is going to happen. Let's get it real quick. And I'm going to just roll through it. Be subject to government. Okay. Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. And we just read Daniel, the seventh chapter. All of those particular rulerships and beasts that would rule are ordained of the most high. The most high ruleth in the kingdom of men, and he giveth it to whoever he will. Whoso there ever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Now, let's look up this word resisted. Antitasum may. Strong's G 498. Antitasa. Antitasa. To range in battle against. To range in battle against. That is the point. Okay. Now, look, we, 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 we keep the laws of the land, right? And we teach brothers to do so. But we know, according to the spirit, there's going to come a point. All right. Where look, hey, we, we, ain't, we ain't doing it. And we already know what we're talking about. All right. Now, you put us out there and say, look, you know, y'all probably secretly took 
the jump shot. Well, well Tazariok openly took it. If you have somebody who secretly took it, hey, the, the Lord knows. But why would you even put that out there? So the word anti we know is against. Let's go to Tasso. Okay, Tasso, anti Tasso. Strong's G, 5021. Tasso. Tasso. Let's get some scholarship up in here. To put in order, to station, basically to appoint a military, to arrange, all right, to arrange against, to appoint against. Now, in spirit, we speak against, but this is speaking of what? Appointing, okay, a military act or sect against in waging war against the Roman Empire because you feel as though you're sovereign. Now, this word can also be used as one who opposes themselves in doctrine, who opposes themselves against authority, you know, of the, the Yahweh Shai and the disciples. But Paul here, and what Yahweh Shai always spoke against, is what? Not ranging in battle against. That's what these guys did. They ranged in battle against the Roman Empire, like your boy Judas. Okay? This is uh, Acts 5 and 36. For before these days rose up, Thutis boasted himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain. And all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Why? Because it wasn't the will of the Lord. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. Okay? Now, these particular brothers of the Sakari sect today, I don't hear them speaking against taxes. But the question in, in here at hand is did the ancient Sakari follow the Messiah? Right? Did they follow in his spirit? <laughs> no. Okay? Let's get some more. So let's go back here real quick to uh Acts the, the uh I mean Romans the thirteenth chapter. Okay? So whoever resisted, set up a military to fight, shall receive damnation. Now, when you keep reading, just to get to the point, what did Paul say? Romans 13 and 6. For this cause pay ye tribute, okay, also for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. He set them in order, okay? You even had particular of the disciples who were tax collectors. That's why they were like, why in the hell you got these niggas following you? Render therefore all their dues, tribute unto whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom is due, fear to whom fear is due, honor to whom honor. Okay? See what tribute means. Phoros, tribute the annual tax. So the, 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 the ancient Zealots and Sakari did not follow the orders that were given by Yahawashai and the men he set up. John 18 and 36, Yahawashai answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom from hence. So did the ancient Sakari follow? Okay, no, they, they wanted their kingdom then. Now, when you go into prophecy, second there's the fourth chapter. In the 37th verse, what does the angel say? Because Ezra's wanted things to come to an end, right? By measure had he measured the times and by number, hath he numbered the times, and he doth not move 
nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. According to Daniel, the seventh chapter, the said measure was not fulfilled, brother. So y'all went off. And to come back and take that name upon yourself is taking on a name of rebellion against the spirit of Yahweh Shai upon yourselves. So again, you could do and say all you want and manipulate and try to use this word against that word. You're wrong. No, the ancient Sakari did not. Okay? Now you had members of the, the Zealots and the Sakari that did eventually follow uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. All right? But Yahweh Shai was not with that mindset. Okay? And we're going to get that example. Now this is off of Wikipedia. <laughs> Alazar and his followers returned to Masada. This is getting to the point. I started uh, here. The Zealots, Sakari, and other prominent rebels joined forces to attack and temporarily take Jerusalem. And they would make, they were forcing Jake to fight with them, putting them to death if they didn't, from Rome in 66 AD. So, what do you think they were doing to the followers of Yahawashai? Putting them to death? These acts led to men, women, and children who were followers of Yahawashai being labeled terrorist. Right. And Esau likes to put that when you look it up, the the uh, the, the Sicaria were the world's first terrorist. No, Cain was the world's first terrorist. <laughs> anyway, it says they took control of the temple and his family line as well. When you read about them. OK, they took control of the temple in Jerusalem, executing anyone who tried to oppose their power. Was Yahweh shy with this? The local populace resisted their control and launched a series of siege and raids to remove the rebel fractions. The rebels eventually silenced the uprising in Jerusalem and stayed in their hands for the duration of the war. The Romans finally came to take the city and led counterattacks and sieges to starve the rebels inside. The rebels held for some time, but the constant bickering... <laughs> And the lack of leadership, the deacon and, and Alazar start arguing, right? Arguing over a piece because they were starving. So there's a piece of chicken in there. All right, some lamb in the temple. They, they arguing over it. Okay, one say, let's just give up. The other was like, hell nah. The other was like, we should have listened to you. How was The other was like, man, hell nah. He ain't our authority. led the the lack the, the the constant bickering and lack of leadership led to the groups disintegrate uh disintegrate led the groups to disintegrate the leader of the sakari Menahem, was killed by rival fractions during an altercation they was arguing amongst each other Soon the Romans regained control and finally destroyed the whole city in 70 AD. So when you hear about 70 AD, although it was ordained, who was at the forefront of leading to that? Sakari. And a lot of people who were just followers of Yahweh who wasn't on that shit died. This is what we mean. Alazar and his followers returned to Masada and continued their rebellion against Rome until 73 AD. <laughs> the Romans eventually took the fortress according to Josephus. All right. Found that most of its defenders had committed suicide rather than surrender. All right. Yada, yada, yada. The temple of 70 AD. 70. After the fall of the temple of 70 AD, Sakari became the dominant revolutionary Hebrew faction. We them niggas. They scattered abroad. Lost. Okay. Josephus particularly associates them with the mass suicide at Masada in 73 AD. And to the subsequent refusal to submit to the taxation census when Cyrenius was sent to Judea to make one. So again. Were the ancient Sakari? We're not talking about y'all right now because y'all ain't in that. Y'all ain't really about that life, right? Were they true followers of Yahweh Shai? 
Render unto Caesars what is Caesars? Nah, we're going to fight. Who, 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 who? No. Okay? No. Let's go back. Let's read some more here. Let's see what we can get out of this right here. Okay? Yeah, that's Deacon right there for sure. See, if he had that hat on, he'd hide, he can hide that hairline. Anyway. <laughs> uh, they assassinated, talk about the Sakaar. They assassinated men in broad daylight in public places. They preferred tactics with, uh, uh, their preferred tactics was mix, to mix with the crowd and stab the victim. Afterward, they would act terrified and scream together with bystanders like they act today like they love you they care about you but they have ulterior motives why would you want this to be who you pattern after and then sit up here on some goddamn high horse like you the the, the greatest law keeper that ever lived in israel and they had the fringes on right now they would they would they would hide them as they went and did these acts OK. But this is what they were all about. They were very, very high minded in those outward traditions, man. Just like the Pharisees. And we know what Yahweh said about them. All right. Y'all dudes tagging trains with fringes on. The Sakari were the first organized assassination unit in history. No, the family line of Cain was. OK. The Sakari targeted the ruling Jews elite, which collaborated with the Romans. So y'all should be mad as hell at Nate. Not really much smoke for him, though. And he teaching Israel to call on Jesus Christ. But boasting in 501c3s. Since nobody knew who their next who was their next target, fear and anxiety spread amongst the elite. Their most notable victim was high priest Jonathan. Unlike the zealots, Sakari didn't attack the Romans. Okay, they was going after their own people who were sellouts. All right. It says the Sakari committed the first recorded act of terrorism in history. Whatever. He saw something else, man. We just read about that. You know, you could look that up. The Sakari were both, both freedom fighters and terrorists. It depended on which side you were on. For the Romans, the Sakari were terrorists. For the oppressed Jews, they were heroes. Right? But was it the will of Yahawashai the way they went about it? No. Okay? No. Absolutely not. Okay? I get the 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 uh mindset. I get that you didn't, you know, which a lot of the shit you did was bullshit, but I get that you didn't like sellouts. I get that you didn't want to be ruled over by the Romans, but was it of the spirit? And the answer is no. Let's go to the book of, okay, the book of Matthew 26. Yahweh Shah's betrayal. Now, here in Luke 22, which is in Matthew as well, is the scripture they go to. Okay, Luke 22 and 35, as they were going to go to Jerusalem. And he said unto them, when I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes, lacked ye anything? And they said nothing. All right, because they were supposed to be taken care of and the, the spirits with them. You know, the spirit was with the followers of Yahweh Shai as they went on their journey. The Lord always allowed provision. Basically, he told them, don't don't worry about, you know, your money and this and that, because you, you look, you're going to be taken care of. And they were. OK. Now, verse 36 says. Then said he unto them, but now he that hath a purse, let him take it and likewise his script. And he that have no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. All right. Now, this is the scripture they always go to, to say Yahawashai is down with the vibe of the ancient zealots, and I can have a gun at camp, which, yeah, you, yeah, 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 you, 
Hey, what does the scripture say? A child left to his own, you know, uh, uh, will becometh headstrong. Do if that's what you want to do. We're going to see how that works out for you. All right. This is why we we just read that the leadership of the Zakari eventually disbanded, and y'all are going to do the same thing. Scatter. It's not going to work. Okay. The 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 best way to get the victory, the only way to get the victory, is following in the stead of Yahushai. Follow on the land whithersoever you goeth. Y'all didn't follow the land whithersoever you goeth. Y'all didn't take heed. But you were all set up for that purpose, and it led to a mass death. It led to you niggas committing mass suicide, fighting over lamb. Okay? And through. For, uh, so it says, and, and how many of you, all right, since you sold, you bring this out, how many of you sold your, your, your garment? Because if you don't have your garment, or you can't be saved, right? Because what was on the garment? The fringes. Go sell your garment and, and, and get, a, get a sword. How many of you did that? Hmm? So he that had the purse, let him take it. Likewise, his script. And he that have no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. For I say unto you that is written, must yet be accomplished in me. All right? Because there was something that was going to happen, and he was going to teach them a lesson. And it was reckoned among the transgressors, and he was reckoned among the transgressors. Because Yahweh Shai was ultimately labeled as one who was making uproars. Right? He was going to be labeled amongst those transgressors. And see, those wicked chief priests and high and, and, and high pre and all of those niggas, they were trying to get Yahweh Shai to do things using a law that would, would, would get him condemned in the Roman Empire. Right? And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. Did he say each 12 go get a sword? Here are two swords. And he said to them, it is enough. Right? So here it is. They always jump to this scripture. But they they don't they, see this is Jake man, this is Jake, Jake man. Goodness gracious, and I'm not even mad. Y'all are in y'all lot, but we heard of the 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 how the Sakari ended. <laughs> if that which is then and now, when when Esau rolled, y'all through. Okay, so two swords. And I believe in another story, it was, it was three overall, right? So it was one had one already, and then it was two swords. And he said, it is enough. Why was it enough? Why did he even tell him to get them? Let's read this closely. Luke 22 and 37. For I say unto you that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors. For the things concerning me have an end. Where was that written at? Let's get. I'm pretty sure I should have it in the precepts here. Let's get Isaiah 53 and 12. <laughs> See, Yahweh had to be looked at as one who was doing wickedness, man. You see that? Isaiah 53 and 12, for I will divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. All right. And that's when he comes back and takes over. All right. As king of this whole earth and he's going to divide it with his elect. All right. But he had to go through what he had to go through first to get exalted back to the right hand side. And this is one of the things he had to go through because he have poured out his soul unto death. He was numbered with the transgressors. He was numbered with the transgressor. He was looked at as a common, you know, the, the, a, a thief. He was looked at as one who was inciting war against Rome. And see, really, that's what a lot of those zealots wanted him to do. Okay? There was a, some, a history I was looking at. I can't find it, you know. But some of the zealots wanted Yahweh to be their head. And go with them for their enterprise because they knew if we get if we get 
<laughs> let's say we get cut by one of the Romans, he'll heal us. Or he can he can just take them down at the at the snap of a finger. Look at the power he got. But Yahweh Shai wasn't there for that. But he had to be numbered with the transgressors. Okay, when he was crucified, it wasn't it a thieves that was uh, look right Mark fifteen and twenty seven, and with him they crucify two thieves. The one on his right hand, the other on the left. He had to be numbered amongst them. And the scripture was fulfilled, which said, and he was numbered amongst the transgressors. Now, let's go to the point where these swords were used, and let's hear Yahweh Shai's message. Okay? Yahweh Shai's betrayal and arrest. Okay? And while he spake, all right, lo, Judas, the one who betrayed him, all right, earlier that day at the Passover, okay, what did Judas, uh, what did Yahweh Shai say? One of you are going to betray me. And it was this guy, Judas, who eventually felt bad and, 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 and you know, and hung himself. It says, one of the 12 came and with him a great multitude, okay, with swords and staves from the chief priest and the elders of the people. OK. And it says some Roman authorities were with them as well. OK, so Judas came. Now, when you when you think of the mindset, maybe Judas was like, shit, maybe Yahweh Shai, if, if I if I do this, he'll just take everything down with the power he has. But let's just keep reading the story. It says now he that betrayed him gave them a sign saying, whomever I shall kiss, meaning embrace the same as he hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Yahweh and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Yahweh said unto him, Friend, wherefore art, art thou come? <laughs> he already knew what he was going to do. Yahweh understood. This was his sacrifice. Then came they and laid hands on Yahweh and took him. Okay, the chief priests in them did that. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. You see? What did Yahweh say? Then Yahweh said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Let's read it in the NLT. Let's get some scholarship up in here. All about that scholarship, man. I had a scholarship. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, where was that at? Hold up. Give me one second, my bad. Okay, 52, my bad. Mark 36 and 52. Put away your sword, Yahweh Shai told him. Those who use the sword will buy, die by the sword. Did the Sakari follow that? Do, do, let's read the rest. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us and he would send them instantly? But if I did, how would the scriptures be fulfilled that describe what must happen now? How would the scriptures be fulfilled if the Sakari got it right and took down Rome? If the servants of Yahweh Shai fought that he didn't, he, he, he didn't get delivered, they wouldn't be fulfilled. So it wasn't the will of the Lord. And that's all we're saying. Okay, isn't there's nothing super deep. Okay. So the fact that he used that sword, okay, they, they can use that against him. See, he's inciting, inciting violence. They was coming with all kinds of uh, uh, accusations against him. And who was doing that? When you go to the very next chapter, Matthew 27 and 1, when the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahweh to put him to death. And they had bound him, all right, and led him away and delivered him unto Pontius Pilate, the governor. And even Pilate was like, man, I, I don't really see anything he's doing. But they continued and kept going and just kept going and kept going, man. 
okay? <laughs> Until Polly was like, fuck it, okay? When they, it was like free Barabbas, right? Who, who, who said free Bar- Barabbas? Chief Priest said that. Which I'm going to do a whole nother lesson, Lord willing, at some point, you know. Let's see here. Yeah, so it was the the chief priest who did all of that. They said free Barabbas. Matthew 26 and 59, now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahweh Shai. Now remember, Yahweh Shai was perfect in the law. Right? But they were using the law to try to say he's worthy of death. The same thing these niggas are doing. Let's see here. Where is it at? There you go. Matthew 27 and 20. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahawashai. Free Tazariak. He cool. Free Nate. We ain't got We ain't going to get on them. But destroy the followers of Yahawashai. Same spirits back, man. Because if they were really angry, what about the guy that's taking away the name of the Lord? Ain't that in the law? Anyway, man. So the bottom line, and we can keep going, is the ancient the the the, the did the ancient Sakari follow the spirit and will of Yahweh? Hell no, and his name ain't Christ. We the, we're the Christians, but you call on Christ. Romans six and seven sixteen and seventeen. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. All right. And see, the problem is we are the ones who rebuke you. We're the ones who are loving enough to call you out and say, bro, always. While everybody else just sits back and allows all of this garbage. But when Barack from HODC 12, the head you submitted yourself under that you don't agree in doctrine with uh, off in the spirit. When he tried to correct you, you even rebelled under him from under him. Nobody can tell you guys anything. And then you heap these men, young men to yourself, which some of them are men of the Lord, and they're going to wake up, and then they get into that same high-minded spirit. Talking about if Yahweh Shai was on here on the scene, he would be in the rap videos with us. Are you crazy? All of this is being done with fringes on. Romans 6 and 7, 16 and 17. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to, to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. Okay? For they that are such serve not Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, but their own belly. Their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So your whole, your whole setup is based upon rebellion and not being in order. But then you got some nerves to sit up here like you got it. So who, he who used the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay? Dagger. Engaged in all particular uh, resistance. Using daggers. Concealed in their clothing. Assassinated their enemies in crowded places. But why they never went and assassinated them Romans? Now, eventually they started, you know, at the, you know, but, you know, come on, man. And see, what they'll do is that one part right there, after all of the truth that's been brought up, they'll, they'll take that and say, wait, wait a minute, I thought, they, you know, you see how Jake is, man. <laughs> oh, man, this is a, this is a, it goes in. This goes in. You know, but, you know, if we ever have to do another lesson on it, I'll go deeper into this one. This one went into some other ones, but 
these are the different religious sects that were around at the time of Yahweh Shai. You know, the Sakari were just one of them. Okay? And it labels them terrorists. <laughs> now, Yahweh Shai was looked at as one of those. What, was he? No. All right? Now, when he comes back, he's, he's going to destroy this place. But that wasn't the time to do all of that, man. So you weren't with the Lord. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you weren't with his will. You were off. And now you 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 label your group after these people. And you're off. And you're, you're, you're sitting here bearing false witness, telling people in Israel that we're teaching not to keep the laws because we don't put fringes on every piece of our clothing. See, if we had have just been at all with the most high, the fact that his son was in a chariot following us in the wilderness, we wouldn't have needed the fringes. You, you're, you're boasting in the fact you need to look at something to know not to sin. Boy, oh boy. But that's all right. Keep screaming, keep getting mad, and brothers, don't let these dudes draw carnality out of you. You know, because that's the, the, the vibe they come in. It makes you, it draws carnality out of you. Let them be carnal. Let them do all of that screaming and growling and acting like a, a professional pit bull with a, with, a, with, a, with a hat on. Let them do all that DMX shit. We just go keep going to these scriptures. All right. Let them keep slandering and lying and overdoing it. Like I said, if you, you all were really mad. You you be growling at Tazariot. Look what he's telling our people to do. Anyway, yeah, in this video, I was going to play it. But at the end of all of that, two women survived. All of y'all committed suicide, arguing over the lamb and broke up, killing each other. Then two women survived. And you know what the Romans did with the women. But anyway... I'm going to leave it there. Although there's more history, there's more we could have went into. You know, the bottom line is the scriptures say, you know, a hey, that you got to follow the lamb with us whoever you go with. Did 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 the ancient Sakari do that? That's the question. And if and now that we got the answer, why why would you say that's us? Well, maybe it is you. No, nigga, you need to repent. Shalom. Hopefully I edify it all to the next.